Welcome back to another YouTube video. Man, it's been a while. I gotta get used to this again. You guys are probably wondering, where have I been for the last five months? Well, I've been doing school and everything, and I just haven't had a chance to pick up the camera and film much. But I'm here. I'm back now. Hey, how's it going? What's up? So, what all did you guys miss? Uh, let's see. Uh, not much. The last little bit of warm weather. Thanksgiving, Christmas, a lot of snow, flips. Puppies. Some drifting in the snow. And that's basically about it. I've really just been doing a lot of school work. You guys know the Blazer, right? That thing's pretty cool. It's my first car. So I got the Blazer back in June. So I haven't even had it a whole year yet. I haven't really done much to it. You know, I put wheel spaces on it. I put a flag mount on it. I made it louder. I kept up on all the maintenance and everything. But there's one thing that I did that was really cool. And I know I should have filmed it because it would have made a really cool video. But I just wanted to get it done and it did take a long time. But I put rock lights on the Blazer. Definitely one of the coolest mods. And they definitely made it a lot more fun to drive. But ever since I was first getting a car, I always wanted to get my own truck. And I got the Blazer because, you know, it was my first car. I needed something to drive. It was a good deal. And it was pretty cool. It had a lot of cool stuff. But I've still been wanting a truck. So I've had the Blazer up for sale for quite a long time now. I'm not really in a hurry to sell it because it is really cool. But I had it up for sale and I finally got somebody that wants to buy it. So today we are selling the Blazer. So we got to go get it washed up, cleaned up, looking nice. So we we can sell it tonight. I suck at making YouTube videos. Uh. I literally didn't film anything after that. Basically what happened was they liked it, they wanted it, they got it. Blazer's gone. No more Blazer content. No more cool Dixie horn. But that's okay. Because now that's gone, now I can get a truck. Luckily I was smart enough to start truck shopping before I sold the Blazer because I didn't want to have to go a long time without having something to drive. So I found this truck and it's really nice and we're actually going to go get it tomorrow. So I won't even be without a car for very long at all. I'll see you tomorrow to go pick up a new truck. The next day. All right, so guys, it's the next day and I'm going to pick up a new truck today. Now, unfortunately, I'm going to leave the camera here because a camera like this can be pretty intimidating and I don't really want to film all this stuff. It's kind of more private stuff. So. I'll see you back whenever I get the truck picked up. So guys, I own a truck now. How neat is that? How neat is that? We actually just got back from picking it up and you guys haven't seen it yet. So without further ado, here's my new truck. So we just got done and I just left. Um, I'm driving the truck right now, it feels pretty nice. Drives pretty nice, it's got these lights in here at your feet, which are pretty cool. Wyatt has no idea that I sold the Blazer or that I bought a truck. So I'm gonna show up at his house and surprise him with it. Correction, Wyatt 
was not at home. He was at work. So I decided to show up where he works and surprise him there. Wyatt, I have a surprise for you. You have to come outside. I'm definitely taking those stickers off, but you got the back here. It's clean too. Got floor mats and everything. Sweet. But sounds good. So I just got home and I actually already took off the stickers. So this dash part right here was sticker bond. I took them off already. I'll have to show you more of it tomorrow in the daylight. So far I'm liking it. So I'll probably get new mirrors, get some tow mirrors or something, because I don't really like the look of this tiny mirrors. And we come back here it does have the light strip down here for your brakes but it, it either has bad connection or it's broken so I'll probably either get a new one of those or try and fix this one um, it's got the dual exhaust you'll see this light up here is aftermarket it looks pretty nice all right so now that it's daylight I'm gonna give you a little walk around of this thing so it's really dirty right now because we live on a dirt road and everything's kind of muddy and snowy right now but where do we want to start so these mirrors I want to replace them with tow mirrors because I don't like the looks of the tiny little mirrors for now they're, they'll be okay and I'm gonna keep them for now back here it came with this toolbox this is really nice I keep my tools in it I already got my socket set and everything in there and I'll probably get a set of jumper cables to put in there too tonneau cover so far has been working great the velcro all holds good and it looks good and when you open the tailgate back here you can see it's nice and dry in there while we're back here i'll show you the tailgate it's got the tailgate assist so you just let go and it goes down by itself it's also got the tailgate pong which will be fun in the summertime with water just water but yeah you put the cups in here and you throw the ping pong ball you know that'll be fun for tailgate parties and stuff it's got bed liner which i was actually gonna do but i guess i don't need to now so that's nice I'm thinking about adding some bed lights because at night and even in the daytime when you open this up it's like pretty dark in there if you have the tonneau cover so with bed lights it'll light it up in there and it'll look really nice. These aftermarket tail lights got this little plastic black thing over top of it which kind of looks cool I don't know if I really like it or not but for now I'll keep it. So back here we got our hitch got a little cover on it right here and then we got the dual exhaust back here which those will sound really good just right now there's a giant muffler so it's really quiet but I will fix that and then those will sound really good. Now, if you look under here, you can see we got the light strip right here, but it only works in reverse and it looks really cool when you put it in reverse, but the red does not work. So I'm gonna replace that. I'm gonna get a new one and a nicer one with the sequential blinkers and everything. So that'll be really cool. So we got some ballistic wheels here. These definitely make it look nicer. You know, just new wheels and tires just change the whole look of a truck. And as you can see, compared to my hand, they're pretty wide. I'm not sure exactly how wide they are. If I had to guess, I would say probably 10, because they're not 12. I still don't know how to read tire sizes, but if anybody does know, you can figure it out probably by looking at that, I'm not sure. The wheels, they look really nice when they're cleaned up right now. They're really dirty. If you look in here, the frame looks pretty nice. I'm surprised at how little rust it had for the year. And if you come up here, we got these nice steps, which help the look of it. It makes it look really nice because you don't got this huge step right there. One thing with them, is you gotta know where they're at because when I first started trying to get in here, I was like almost falling because I didn't know where the step was. But once you figure out where it's at, you're good. Going around to the front, we got new headlights, the stock headlight cases with new headlights in there so they're really bright. And then inside the grill here, And this is what the light bar looks like inside of there. And it's kind of cool how it's hidden, like when you have it shut off, you can't even see it. So this is the other side, really nothing different over here except we got the bullet antenna. This is a small mod, but it definitely helps. You know, you don't have the long, ugly looking antenna. You got a cool looking bullet antenna and they're really easy to install. All you do is unscrew your old one and screw this one in and it has better service and everything. Now, if we come over here, we'll take a look inside. Now for the year, I was expecting ripped seats and stuff. All we got is these two little holes right here. So that surprised me how clean the seats were and everything. And the interior is very clean. The back seats have the seat cover on, which I think looks really nice. So I didn't take it off. I'm also kind of scared to take it off. I'm not sure why it's on there, if there's like a reason. Maybe there's like stains or something underneath, or maybe they just had it on to keep the seats from getting stains on. So for now, I'm just leaving it on. I think it looks nice. We got the floor mats, which is really nice for around this time of year with all this crap on the ground. When you get in, you're keeping the carpet nice and clean and you can take them out and wash them off. Nothing really special up here until we get over here. 
Right here we have a Pioneer radio. This is aftermarket, it's got Bluetooth and everything. We have all the Pioneer door speakers and there used to be subs back here. You can see where there's a cutout where it was under the seat, but the guy must have took them out. So we don't have those anymore. But you can see around here, this is plastic dipped. And then these, those are plastic dipped and those are plastic dipped. Now, I'm not really sure how I like the color of these ones. I, I was thinking about maybe replacing these and that one. This one here in the middle is actually not bad because it kind of matches the colors of the truck, like the red and black and everything, but I just don't know if I really like those. So I'm not sure if I'll end up keeping those or not. These up here are also plastic dipped, so if I replace those, I'd also have to replace these. So I'm not sure if I'll do that. Probably won't be for a little while yet if I do decide to do it. So we have six seats in here, three back there, three up here. So you can fit six people in here, but nobody very big in the back because as you can see, there's not very much leg room back there. Now I'm gonna show you my favorite part right here. This is probably one of my favorite mods that it has on it. You just hold this button here. And there we go, it's got a remote start. You just hold this button and it starts it up, which is gonna be really cool when I get the new exhaust because I can actually listen to my own cold start. And it's also really nice for around this time of year because it's really cold outside. And if I keep the heat turned on, then I can start it up from in the house up there and have it nice and warm when I come out to get in. And then to shut it off, I just hold the lock button and it shuts it off just like that. So that's one of my favorite parts of this truck and I use it all the time. It's also a really cool party trick. Now on the inside here, you can see we have light strips under the front where your feet are and they're under the back seat there, which you've already seen that and that looks really cool at night, lights up the floor. Up here you can see we have our microphone that's for our radio. So if I call somebody on the radio, they can hear me through that. And then up here is an antenna that is for the remote start. And I haven't tested how far away you can go yet, but so far it's been pretty good. I'll be at the other end of a parking lot at a store and I can start it right up or from up there in the house from inside, I can start it up. So I've done it from pretty far away. I haven't been able to test how far away yet. So I'll have to do that sometime too. Basically that's everything with the truck. For the year, it's really clean and it's got some cool stuff on it, but I'm gonna do a lot more to it. So stay tuned to see what else I do. What do you think? It's cool. You and like I'm not it? going back out there because it's nice and warm in here. Yeah, it is nice it's and warm very in here. windy. I, can't, I couldn't open our car door. I yeah. can hardly breathe when I'm running against the flame. It is really cold outside right now. Do you guys like the new truck? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. That's crazy. It's pretty windy. Yeah, but it looks like it's going to take down the, the light post. If that fell, it would hit a whole line of cars. Unless it fell towards the snow. Hopefully it doesn't fall. Hopefully. Yo, check it out. All right, sorry for the bad lighting. It's like dark right now. Anyway, the first mod for my truck came. It's some LED dome lights. When you open the doors, the inside of the cab, instead of being yellow, it's gonna be white. They came pretty late, so it's 8.20 already, but I think I'm gonna go install them anyway. So it's really dark right now, but as you can see, when I open it, the light is yellow, and that's gonna be white. I also got these lights that you switch on, and one's pointing over here at the driver's seat. The other one's pointing over there at the passenger seat. So those will be white too. Since it's really dark outside, I'm gonna pull it in the shop area over there and install them over there. Also because I have my tools and everything over there and I think I'm only gonna need like a screwdriver and a pair of pliers, but we'll see. All right, so I got my light in here so I can see. And I think I just need to pop that off just like that. As you can tell, this bulb gets very hot. You can see how it's like burnt there. So we got, it looks like two screws to take out. We gotta take this thing off here to get to those ones up in there. Actually, I'm gonna take this bulb out right now. It's not too hot. There we go. Just like that. Now I'm gonna stick one of the new ones in just to see what it looks like, cause I'm curious. Yeah, that's very bright. So that'll be very nice. So I'm gonna take this off now and get the other one.
there we go it's out that was very easy and you'll see this wire right here all you do is lift up that little tab and it comes right off the bulbs are right underneath these little metal plates here hang on i'm gonna have to use two hands see this little tab right here I pull this, I should be able to pull them right out. So I'm gonna do that right now. All right, it was that easy. You just had to use two hands. Pull that little tab, and these pop right out, just like that. And then you have access to your bulb, and you can pull it right out. I'm actually gonna have to use a screwdriver because I can't get my hand down in there. There we go. I just popped one side out, and there we go. Pull it right out. Now you can see, if you put it up here at the light, you can see that it points in a direct, certain direction. So when you put this new one in you're gonna want to make sure you have the leds pointing in that direction so just stick pop it in like that check turn it a little make sure it's pointing in the right direction i'm actually gonna look through here and right there looks pretty good so now if i just reinstall this right here just like this put it down it clicks in and you're all set now I just gotta do the other side. All right, so I got both sides back in. So I'm gonna put it back up and plug it in, flip the switches to make sure both of those work. Then I'll put this back up there and stick the last one in and we should be done. All right, so as you can see this side, this side is flickering a little. So that means it has a bad connection. So, So the reason it's flickering like that is because it's in there very loose as you can see and that's because they're a little bit different size than the original ones so these clips aren't clipping them very tight and you can see they move around a lot so all i have to do is take a needle nose pliers and squeeze these shut some more and then put the light back in and then it should work fine after that so i actually don't have a needle nose pliers on me but i got these which will work just fine all i have to do is get it on the clips like that squeeze them shut some more and then we'll put the light bulb back in and it should be in there tighter now that i have them squeezed closer together you gotta stick the light back in it's gonna require a little more pressure to get it in but once it's in you can definitely tell it's in there a lot tighter it's not moving around anymore so i'm just gonna come in here angle it the right direction all right so you can see they're both in there angled the right direction they're in there nice and tight now so they shouldn't flicker anymore i almost forgot don't forget to put these things back in because they keep the heat from the bulb inside of here so that you don't burn your headliner which these are leds so they won't get hot but you still want to put this in there There we go, got it back up in there. Now I'm just gonna give these a little bit of a squeeze so that the last one is tight. And all we gotta do now is put this one in and then we're good. There we go, that's in. Now just reinstall the cover. like that perfect there we go now i forgot to get these ones for the door so i'm gonna have to get some of them too but once those are done then it'll be complete but for right now we have these so it looks pretty good now that i have all the lights off we can actually see what it looks like oh yeah that definitely looks a lot better it's definitely brighter and it looks a lot cleaner it just makes it look like one of the newer newer trucks where they have these white lights in them now i'll have to get the lights for these yet and replace them but once that's done this will look great it really lights up the back seat too now let's see what these look like oh yeah these are nice and bright too i think that it looks great hey guys so this is crazy but the only reason it's making it into this video is because it's taking me a really long time to edit but ever since I got this truck, I wanted to get new headlight cases for it because it has new headlights, but it still has stock headlight cases, so it doesn't look as good. And uh, I was looking at some with halos, and then I was looking at some with like the, the C LED lights that 
they look really sweet, but they're all like 200 bucks. And so I was waiting to get them, you know, I was gonna get some cheaper mods first. But I was scrolling through Marketplace and found some brand new headlights. A dude accidentally bought two sets of them for his truck. Brand new, the exact ones that I wanted to get with the halos. And I talked them down from 200 down to 125 bucks. So I'm getting a really good deal on them. So I'm actually leaving right now to go pick them up. So this is really last minute, but I'm going to get some new headlights. So we'll see how it goes. All right, so I just got the headlights, picked them up, and the guy was actually really nice. He was actually gonna buy this before the girl that sold it to me bought it. So there was a guy selling it, this guy was gonna buy it, he didn't, this girl bought it, had it for a little while, sold it to me. So he was actually really nice. He knew a lot about this truck, almost more than I knew about it. And then he had a truck basically just like it, so he was telling me some stuff about it that it's kind of nice to know. But anyway, I picked up the headlights and I can't wait to put them on, but that's not for this video. So here's another mod for my truck. I'm not gonna put them on now, I'll save that for another video. Here's a sneak peek of the headlights. They're actually really nice and I didn't notice that was on. Sorry if that was really loud. They're actually really nice and I can't wait to see what they look like. And the guy had the same exact ones on his truck because he had accidentally bought two sets of them. So he showed me what they were like. So I kind of get an idea of what they're gonna look like. Anyway, stay tuned if you want to see me put those on. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you next time.